and we're going to get started with news you can use right now. Uh, today, we're going to do some good news you can use. Um, this Everybody's heard of the Great Resignation, um, which is happened started happening last November, continued through April. And at the end of the day, several million primarily millennials uh, have quit their job. And um, nobody knows exactly why. I guess maybe they got used to being on the government dole during COVID and all that free money that was coming around. Uh, but they just decided they were going to give up the careers they had and uh, try either try something else or go on retirement at 32 years old. I don't know the deal. But uh, for those, any of you that go out to restaurants or in, in high level of service areas have known and have seen over the last six months that it's been uh, kind of hard to get the same level of service you used to have. That's because a lot of the service industry employees who were those millennials resigned and they couldn't get them back on the job. Um, and so that left us a little short in the workplace and a lot of the employers scrambling for employees. Uh, guess who's come to the rescue in the last two months? Uh, once again, the baby boomers, go boomers, um, have come to the rescue. And in literally in the last two months, 1.7 million baby boomers have unretired. Um, and by unretired, I mean, these are people who had retired within the previous year or so, and they went back to get another job. Now, typically, when that's happened in the past, and we've had cycles in our economy when that has happened previously, when that has happened in the past, it's been because they needed the money. Uh, retirement, in a lot of cases, especially here in the U.S., doesn't provide enough funding, um, you know, to for for retirees to just live on the government money that you get through social security, that type of thing. Especially this last year um, with interest rates, I'm, I'm sorry, with inflation exceeding 8% over the last six months and the annual COLA for social security recipients, which is the cost of living allowances, COLA, uh, was only a little over 5%. So they're actually going backward in pay, but literally, um, based on surveys, it is not because they need the money, or at least not because they need the paycheck. Here are the top reasons that the baby boomers have been giving given for uh, going back to work. Number one was inflation. In other words, they, they see it, they saw it. Baby boomers have lived through these high inflationary periods of time when the value of your nest egg got eaten away by high inflation. So it's a, a hedge against inflation. Number two, a lot of the boomers have money and had money, uh, still do, in the stock market. Stock market has had a lot of woes lately. It's gone down. Uh, it's been, you know, so far this year in 2022, now this is only June, but the market's down 10% uh, year to date, and it's going even more. So that's, that's the Dow. The S&P has actually dropped further than that. Crypto has dropped. A lot of things have fallen off. Um, a lot of the boomers remember their retirement savings back in 2008 when the market dropped dramatically, especially in September, October of 2008. And, you know, people didn't have uh, the same level of nest eggness, if that is a term, that they had prior to that. So they remembered that and they think, well, better get back to work. Number three, rise in remote work. Uh, the last several years and primarily as a result of COVID, people have found that they can do these jobs from home. And so... The fact that boomers can unretire but still work from home um, is one of the reasons they've gone back to work. A lot of the boomers, by the way, who this 1.7 million who regained employment in the last two months, and that would be April, May of 2022, um, most of those people are coming back as part-time employees, doing like a side gig, that type of thing. Uh, the next uh, reason, the fourth reason, rising health care costs. Um, for whatever reason, uh, the cost of medical services has risen even at a higher rate the last year than it did previously, 3.5% during the last year. Uh, that's not, in, not just insurance, but deductibles and payments for doctors and medication and pharmacy. That's a never-ending story. Um, and so they wanted to hedge against rising health care costs. That's the fourth reason. And the fifth um, is that seniors tend to be a little more isolated than some of the younger folks out there in, this, in society and then millennials and things like that. 
and they they named social interaction as something that was very important you know being able to uh talk to people be around people even if they're not literally around people at least they're not home alone doing you know watching whatever people watch on tv today uh reading books etc they're they're able to have some level of social interaction even if it's vis-a-vis -vis zoom like we're doing here with other folks so those are the top five reasons uh that the uh the group that we call uh, the millennia, the uh, baby boomers born between 46 and 64 uh, have come to the rescue once again um, of our economy in terms of the workforce. So go boomers. Uh, let's uh, let's keep encouraging that. And, uh, you know, hopefully one day, uh, you know, these millennials will become boomers and figure out that they've got to get out there and, and uh, work in mass and in force, too. It's it's not easy. Uh, you know, life is, as a whole is not always easy, but you got to get in there and engage to get it done. All right. That is our news you can use for today.